Now, what I did is I doctored this video for it to show properly on a stereoscopic monitor or whatever you're using to watch this video. And because of the nature of this video, you may notice I did not put my usual daily motion link, but you can use the flash player to watch this video in proper stereoscopic 3D, even in 2D, uh, just by clicking the first link in the description. All right, this is gonna be an interesting little test I wanted to do with Arc. I have to, by the way, thank Einkro again for another great piece of advice. We were talking about getting Arc to run in stereoscopic 3D, and in like two seconds and a half, Einkro found a video where um, someone had tested launching the game with a parameter that you can add on your Steam, like in set launch options. You can add dash enable stereo, all in one word, enable stereo. Um, this is not for sound, obviously, it's for the image. It produces a stereoscopic image. Now, it has a lot of issues. For instance, right now, as I'm, like, using the game, I have to cross my eyes. I can't even set my monitor to display this image in 3D. Reason being is most, well, almost all 3D screens do not support um, the use of full side-by-side. And furthermore, this is not just full side-by-side, -side, it's VR full side-by-side. -side. So it is a 960 by 1080 image twice on your screen. So basically it fills a 1080p screen, but it basically consists of two um, 960 by 1080 images. Okay, surprised I didn't notice this. I'm doing an audio patch right now because I was gonna go ahead and say that this could work with Google Cardboard if you were to take the image output and just stream it to your phone, right? But no, it's actually not gonna work because the right eye image is on the left side and the left eye image is on the right side. Best you're gonna get at a cardboard is cross-eyed fuckness and a headache. Unless, of course, you can get the game to flip those around. To have the left eye image on the left and the right eye image on the right, then everything would actually be pretty good to sort of stream this to a cardboard unit and play without head tracking. Uh, but as it is now, if you can't get to flip the eyes, which I haven't researched, this would not work. Do I have meat on me? It's very hard to do this cross-eyed. If, it, if it's unreadable in the rift, right now it's downright absolutely impossible to read. And I'm sort of understanding why uh, the Arc UI is absolutely unreadable in VR. Look at its size. It is literally one quarter of the size of what people playing on screens get because of this crazy FOV. So, not only is there a blur on the text, but because of it being a quarter the size you'd normally get it on a 2D screen, shit is unreadable, man. All right, so I did bring up my HUD. I'm gonna eat some meat every time I join in here. This is Stuart, by the way. This is my single player game, but none of the achievements I did in parts 15 and 16 of my Let's Play are in here because this is the updated version, the one I wasn't playing. Uh, during the single player um, stint that I did for two parts. I also notice there's a sort of circle in my view uh, when I look at the sun, the glare sort of produces a circle. I never noticed that in VR, it's probably there. From what I'm getting here, I'm essentially getting VR without the final touches like the image warp and everything because I really recognize this. I'm playing cross-eyed right now still. So I'm crossing my eyes on my monitor till I see a third image appear in the center that's 3D. Um, there's a Dilo here somewhere. So the graphics probably look better, and I'll tell you why right now the graphics look better in this video than they normally do in my videos. Um, the final touches they apply in VR imply adding chromatic aberration. Now obviously if I were to post my 3D videos with the chromatic aberration in them, it doesn't look terrible it just looks like you're looking at anaglyph video when it's actually not anaglyph video it's, it's, it's messed up it's better that i filter it out however filtering it out causes a lot of aliasing and i really do apologize for that it's really out of my power I try to post my videos as best as possible i did up the graphics quality a little bit i do have to say my frame rate on a monitor right now is absolutely unquestionably playable i think it's yeah, it's hanging very near 60, in fact. So I'm really getting 
Well, those who have performance issues with this game, I can understand them in VR, or maybe using 3D, but I cannot understand them on screens. There are always ways to get this to work on screens at 60 FPS and 1080p, provided you have a current generation graphics card. I've seen guys like Aincro with the, the one generation behind, they can't do it. But you can, if you have a current generation graphics card, even mid-end, sort of get there. Um, there's, there's always a way, like I could tone it even, I could tone it down some more right now, the way it's set up, to get even more frames, just I chose not to, because I wanted, I wanted to see how it looked like on the screen with a few extra settings added. I have no ground clutter, and that is the, that is because I'm using Shader Model 4 and not Shader Model, a Shader Model 5, I have none of these fucking occlusions. I'm not too hard on the shadows as well, because shadows are very costly in terms of graphics processing. Um, so, yeah, this is very um, a very interesting test. It looks pretty good. I'm probably going to just do a fucking gorilla-type gorilla, gorilla -type posting of this video. Just shove it there with the 3D corrections, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like in stereoscopic 3D. Although, right now... To my current knowledge, I have not researched enough to get this adapted for a 3D screen, maybe projecting it in half side by side. I want to uncross my eyes right now so I can access the inventory. Do a little something. Let's see. Let's see if we could have done this in our past Let's Plays. Let's go get this guy. It's hard to play cross-eye, by the way. Oh, bullshit! Come on. One arrow, but one spear hit doesn't do anything. Can I... Fucking blindsided here, I'm playing cross-eyed, it's a little fucked up. Let's go kill a dodo cross -eyed. It's crazy, this must be my VR senses right now, capable of dealing with this. Every time I look down to my keyboard, I have to uncross my eyes and then recross them immediately. So I'm trying not to look at my keyboard. I kinda like when I play in VR, right? I wanna see my keyboard, I need to peek through that nose port. It's worse right now because I have to actually uncross my eyes. Um, but I obviously much prefer playing this in VR because I can actually turn my head. And one thing I cannot do right now, if I were to say go uh, cut this tree down, I can't look around while I cut the tree. That drives me nuts. That absolute, You people who play on screens this game, you're brave people. To me, I admire your ability to stare at a tree and whack it with an axe without being able to look over your back. I, that drives me fucking insane now. I can barely play on screens anymore because of that fact. I go paranoid. Uh, it's it's become something that I sadly take for granted. Should not, but I do. I really do. All right, this concludes the test. I really like this. My eyes are a bit yeah wonky right now. It's really not good to cross your eyes like that. I don't think it causes any permanent damage, but I do think you'd actually start getting blurry vision and a headache if you did it. Like in one sitting you would get problems. I've actually reloaded the game, uh, but this time uh, you may have heard me mention Shader Model 4 many times. That's basically DirectX 9. I've basically launched the game with its default Shader Model, which is Shader Model 5 DirectX 11. So it's already looking 60 times nicer and something I forgot to do when I recorded the initial video is to put my frame rate overlay in the video so you could see how it's, it's performing the left number is uh, the video frame rate and the right number is the uh, frame rate going to my file this is actually pretty cool like this uh, the graphics of this game in shader model 5 are visibly way nicer uh, I wonder if they have the problem where the ground clutter... Yep, there we go. There's that ground clutter. This is one of the reasons why I don't use Shader Model 5 in VR. The ground clutter appears over your head. Let me see if um, the options can actually remove that just by putting the ground clutter at zero. Apply. Ah! Yeah, but that took away all the ground clutter, even the one that's not responsible for this problem. Or did it? Yeah, it even took the grass off. Oh no, there's the grass. Okay. 
Oh, this is actually good. The other problem is what I get in the caves. There's a sort of sheen on the rocks that appears only in the left eye. And that's the other reason why I don't use Shader Model 5 in virtual reality. Oh, look at this. I'm getting a... Uh, since I turned the ground clutter off, my frame rate's back up by about five frames on average. Um, so like I was saying, oh, and by the way, uh, if you're curious to know what I'm using to run the game right now, it's a GTX 970. The CPU is a i7 4777K. 4770K. Um, so, uh, of course, it, it, it's a couple of year old high end system. This is really good rig, not the top of the line, but fully capable of dealing with ARC in 3D. This is actually pretty impressive for a frame rate. Think about it, this is two in-game cameras each rendering their rendition of the game synchronously, so this is pretty demanding actually. 3D is always much more demanding than 2D. Alright, so that, that was fun. Um, I'll uh, keep investigating, see if I can get this eventually working on screens.